Yeah. <laughs> How exciting is that? Is that word ruminate? Shit! Hi, good morning. I'm wearing double beige and I'm not sure that that's really a good look. All my clothes are in the wash and I just, I also don't have that many tops anymore. I feel like I need to get some more like casual tops. Anyway, that's um, not very interesting. Hi, good morning, welcome to this week's vlog. She's back again. I've just dropped Gabe's nursery. So I'm in the car now and I am going to go to Aldi because I need to stock up on nappies and wipes. And there's an Aldi in our town, but it's quite a small one and you can't really park very near it. So I like to get the big boxes of wipes. So I need to go and stock up on those. I'm gonna to drive to, there's a bigger one uh, not far from us. I'm gonna to drive to that one, which is all very interesting. <laughs> and then I've got my laptop with me because I might then, rather than going home, Hainsley's at home with Elliot this morning and he's working at one o'clock. Got some financials that I need to do and I need to sit and concentrate. And so I might go and do that in town, but I might go home and do it. But I'm thinking it might be a bit distracting with Elliot there and we don't really have anywhere for me to go and sit and work. So I might do that. I also just want a bit of an excuse to just have like some mummy time and like sit and have a nice coffee and where's my keys? And go to like one of my favourite places which is very chilled and it's actually a place I went for lunch in a couple of vlogs ago. It's always quiet in there, there's lots of space, they've got Wi-Fi. So I think I'm going to go there and do what I need to do. Um, I don't want to be cryptic but I also don't want to like jinx what I'm doing these financials for. Let's go to Aldi and then maybe I'll fill you in. Thumb, which is something Gabe never ever did and I think it's so cute. Oh god he's woken up, sorry Angel. <laughs> okay, go back to sleep. As you saw I just put Elliot down for a nap and I'm coming to talk to you in the bathroom because Hainsley's downstairs teaching a lesson over Zoom. Um, he teaches sometimes and obviously Elliot's asleep in the bedroom so I have nowhere else to chat to you but I just thought I haven't got anywhere high to put you on um which is annoying but yes as I was just showing you there Elliot sucks his thumb and I just think it's the cutest thing ever and it's like it's just so funny how different him and Gabe are and it's like obviously they're different kids like I'm different to my siblings but before you have your second like I just imagined another Gabe in every shape in every way shape and form obviously that's not the case <laughs> it's funny because Gabe never tried to suck his thumb and I think obviously going forward Hainsey's a bit like oh god when his teeth come through it's not great but I just think at this point it's so cute <laughs> so I love it um but anyway uh yeah I'm back from um being out this morning and basically I'm not gonna be cryptic I'm gonna tell you but I feel like I don't want to jinx it but there's not really much to jinx but basically what has happened is I have had an offer accepted on a salon space. Those of you that may or may not know, I'm a hairdresser. I currently have a small salon space, but it's not really. It's, it's an office block, like a commercial office building, and it's a room within that. So it doesn't have a, it's not a shop front. It's round the back of this building. I've got my own entrance, but it's a very small um, space. And it's been great um, up until this point, but my dream has always been to have a, an actual salon space. And at this point, all I really want is just an extra chair so that I could rent that chair out to another hairdresser if I wanted. I'm not looking to employ anyone at the moment. I'm not looking to open an actual salon business in that way for now. The reason why I wasn't sure whether to talk about it is because it's not official. Like, no money's been exchanged. I haven't signed anything. I've literally put my offer in. It's been accepted. And now we're going through the motions of sorting out the contract. And that also means that I then have to apply for a second loan. Again, if any of you are with me on this journey last year, a few months ago, last like January, I applied for what's called a startup loan. Um, you can also then apply for a second loan in addition to that, because they kind of anticipate that if you're starting a business, there may be an opportunity where you need a bit more funding to grow, which is what, what has happened with me. I wasn't really looking for a space, but I kind of was. I always keep my eyes open. But the kind of space I want is very hard to come by. Also, the rents in my area are so expensive. But I just happen to come by the most perfect space. And I'm so, so, so excited about it. Like, to have an actual shop front and, like, a proper basin set up with hot water that doesn't run out because at the moment I've only got a small water heater. I've got my own kitchen, my own whole area to mix colour and store my colour, my own toilet. 
so I can put any sort of hand wash in there. I can serve actual drinks. Um, like I have quite good coffee at my salon. If anyone's been, you will know. Um, I pride myself on the coffee I serve. Um, but I can like also do like proper tea, like juice, everything like that. I could get a fridge and just, yeah, have it be a proper salon experience. And I'm so, so excited, but still on like a private one-to-one -one appointment basis. That's like my USP, I suppose. So that's what I've been doing all morning, basically putting together all my spreadsheets of like my business cash flow and all that kind of stuff because when you apply for this loan you have to do all those kind of things. Um, but it's actually been, I don't mind doing that and it's been quite encouraging because it's, it's just really validating to see your business like working. And I was a bit apprehensive about taking on a rent and then having like outgoings on top of that. So I will now have a water bill and an energy bill and a Wi-Fi bill. Whereas my current setup is it's all included. So that's a bit daunting, but then looking at my financials, it's like, actually I can definitely afford that. So that's it really. I'm going to just relax. I've still got more to do. Um, my head's a bit scrambled, but I'm still gonna have to do probably a bit more later on. Haynes is going out after he's had his lesson and then Elliot and I will be picking up Gabe from nursery at five and then we'll cook dinner and that's our day today. I realise I wear this stripy top so much and it's literally because I have a rotation of about three tops at the moment. I really need to get some more. Anyway, hello, it's the next day. <sighs> I didn't vlog anymore yesterday because I was actually and up until this point today have just been like knee deep in spreadsheets. I just got my head down and I just needed to sort everything. So I've done my loan application, sent that off. I had to sort out, did I say yesterday? I've had to sort out a solicitor. The um, estate agents are quite insistent I have a solicitor. And it was a bit back and forth because I was trying to establish whether this was a legal requirement because I didn't have to do it on my current lease and also I'm renting. Because it's a commercial property, they advise it. But also, I'm not a massive company and I'm not taking on like a 10 year lease for a huge piece of land. The quotes I was getting back were very reflective of the fact that this um, process is for companies that just have pots of money that can spend thousands of pounds on a solicitor to complete this for them. Um, I don't have that so I've just been kind of trying to ascertain what I actually need. So anyway that's very boring and grown up. Um, I'm out of breath but yes I have appointed a solicitor and um, kind of decided what I think I need them to do um, and basically I'm trying to save as much money as possible because I didn't budget for that and if I pay the full whack I won't be able to afford my plumbing and I kind of need that in a salon so there we go anyway um, yes it's the next day I've just put Elliot down for a nap snoozing like an angel and I've got a little bit of alone time because Hainsey's taken Gabriel out for a walk I would just look at these boxes with you <laughs> um, a PR package from Living Proof um, one from Philip Kingsley and then a salon order actually. This is a living proof um, package, I've already opened it. Um, because the other day it was National Hairstylist Appreciation Day and it just so happened to be the same day that I made my offer and it got accepted. So I thought, I feel very hairstylist appreciated today. So to mark that, Living Proof sent over a couple of products, which I was very excited about. Living Proof is genuinely one of, if not my favorite hair care brand. And it's the one that I recommend most to anyone that comes to see me, especially their styling products, especially their dry shampoo. And especially this actually, their full dry volume and texture spray. This is the best volume and texture spray. Forget Orbe, this is what you need. And it's cheaper than Orbe. I mean, Orbe is beautiful, but it's just so expensive. And they sent over a triple bond complex, which is one of their newest launches, which that's gone blurry on. Um, but it's basically like a leave-in treatment to help with damage. I have one in the salon, now I can have one at home because I do have damaged hair and I need to use it. Also, I was li actually looking at hairsprays. I get a stylist discount with Living Proof. I needed to get some more hairspray because I have a few clients that like a nice big bouncy blow dry um, or I put rollers in it or whatever. And I just felt like I wanted to try some more hairsprays because I don't have any that I'm like married to, you know? And this one was in my basket um, on the Living Proof website, but they sent it to me and it's their Flex Hairspray. Um, oh, it says it's got heat protection in it. So you could also use this uh, before tonging because it's an aerosol, it's not a wet product. You could use something like this and spray each section before you straighten or tong. So there's a little top tip for you. I then got sent 
um, some bits from Philip Kingsley, which was also very exciting. They just reached out to me via my hairdressing Instagram page. And again, Philip Kingsley, in terms of hair loss and hair fall, a lot of I'm going through postpartum hair fall and I know a lot of my clients are and anyone that asks me about fine or thinning hair I always say Philip Kingsley is the go-to brand. I've also sent some of their kind of cult favourites like the elasticizer for example. So the range they sent for me is the density range because I was like my hair overall is fine it's slightly damaged but my main concern at the moment is postpartum because I've noticed as we all do around the recession I feel like is it always this fine and that tends to happen after you've had a baby or start noticing and be like wait a minute was it always like that or am I just noticing it now and I'm quite sure that my recession wasn't always as bad as that so um I sent over their density range which comprises of um shampoo conditioner a scalp to stimulating scalp toner scalp toning is massive especially on Insta um, Instagram the other one TikTok at the moment um scalp care generally is is massive because that's the the, that's where your hair grows from. So that's the beginning of healthy hair growth is looking after your scalp. So there's a big focus, I feel like, on products at the moment, addressing your scalp. What else have we got? A scalp mask. That's exciting. Energizes and balances the scalp. The elasticizer. Then I have the restructuring treatment, a bond builder. That's just a leave-in conditioner. I think it's similar to like Olaplex because it's a bond builder. The bond builder restorative oil. Two little travel sizes of the elasticizer booster and frizz fighting gloss. Is this a serum? I'm assuming this one's a serum. That's my little PR goodies. I'm very, very excited to try this density range because my battery just ran out. Anyway, I have a lot of postpartum clients who ask me about um, fine and thinning hair. So anyway. Oh, hi. It's that time of day, Gabe's in bed. Um, Elliot woke up and he's just had a feed, so daddy's just in the living room with him and I have come into the kitchen to have my little mum party um, and cook dinner. And dinner is particularly exciting today because we have got HelloFresh. I'm partnering with HelloFresh on this portion of the video. I've partnered with them before and I'm so happy to partner with them again because I just absolutely love HelloFresh. In case you didn't know, HelloFresh is a recipe delivery box service and you can sign up and opt for like three nights of meals, four nights of meals, then they get delivered to your door every week. They have everything in there that you need already portioned out and this is why I love it because obviously being a busy working mum and having kids like by the end of the day I just I just can't be bothered to think about what to cook and also having to cook it and it is things like chopping onions like if everything's perfectly portioned out I just come in here look at the recipe card and away we go and it just makes things so much easier like I'm sure you can agree if you have a family or even if you don't just thinking about what to eat every night can just become a bit exhausting and we tend to eat the same things like when I do the big shop I order the same things and we have not necessarily on the same day but pretty much the same dinners so getting something like HelloFresh is just a really great way to have different dinners as well and try and cook things that you wouldn't normally cook I have cooked so many things that I would never have done had I not had this HelloFresh recipe card so on the menu tonight we have decided well in this week's box I chose we've got beef potato and spinach rogan josh curry chicken in creamy bacon and tarragon sauce pesto salmon en croute and then I did get a little breezy bonus which was a brunch which is buttery honey and cinnamon and cinnamon pear pancakes I ordered from my last box I had fig and pistachio pancakes and they were just incredible. So when I saw that these were on the menu, I was like, I have to get them. So if you see this, if you order HelloFresh, definitely get one of these um, brunch pancake recipes because they're so good. They have loads of different types of menus. So I tend to go for the rapid of the family. So rapid means obviously it's quick and family means it's fun for the family. And they've got a premium menu. So very like restaurant quality stuff. I tend to go for rapid and family. This curry one is from the family menu. But yeah, it's just super easy to use. You can sign up and you can pause deliveries if you need to, if you're going away, if it's half term, if people aren't gonna be in most evenings of the week, especially as we go towards summer, you can always pause your box. Um, so you don't even have to have it every week. So it's very, very flexible, really easy to use. Every single week they'll email you and you just go online and choose your meals for that week or you can choose to skip to the next week. Honestly, it just makes my life so much easier. So if you've never tried HelloFresh before, I really urge you to because the relief of knowing that dinner's gonna be delicious and you don't have to think about it is just brilliant. So if you did wanna try HelloFresh, I've got an exclusive code for you, which I will put on the screen. And if you use my code and sign up, you will get 60% off your first box. And that, depending on how many you get, 
like how many people you get it for that can end up costing you something like 13 pounds um for like three nights of meals so definitely worth giving it a go so yeah first box is 60 percent off and then you get 25 percent off of your boxes for the next two months so whether you get them every week or whether you skip a few weeks every box over the next two months following your first box will be 25 percent off put the discount code as i say here i've also got a qr code that you can scan um and then you can go and sign up but anyway let's get cooking dinner is served what do you think Are you excited looks great <laughs> potato spinach uh beef rogan josh little naan on the side i don't think my presentation is too bad it doesn't look that dissimilar from the picture so let's do the taste test do you want well i've actually already tasted it and it's i'll say it's very good What's... oh that is great is it yeah hello this is fresh <laughs> Finished it with some little nigella seeds. I don't know if you can see a little sprinkle of nigella seeds. That makes me feel like a proper chef, things like that. That's good. You're enjoying it? Mm. Great. What do you think, Ellie Belly? Yeah. <laughs> Two empty bowls. So. so yeah, that was absolutely delicious. I'll leave the QR code up here on the screen somewhere um, and my discount code. If you sign up, as I say, you can get 60% off your first box and then 25% off the next two months worth of boxes. Really worth doing if, like me, you're just busy and don't have time to think about dinner or want to start trying new things um, and trying cooking new things, but you don't really get the time to kind of sit down and like gather recipes from a recipe book. And HelloFresh just makes things so, so much easier and so much less stressful when it comes to dinner time because you barely need to measure out anything. It's just all there for you. And you know it's going to be really good quality. So yeah. I can't recommend it enough. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for partnering with me on this portion of the video. I to eat the rest of this week's meals, especially that brunch. Oh, Daddy's just put Elliot down to sleep because he fell asleep not long after we just had dinner. Because we usually have our dinner, don't we, Haynes? He's having dessert. He's got a little yogurt on the go. We've started watching, well, not started. We've been watching it for a while. But we are watching Succession. This has been for a while, like, even when I was pregnant. I would still go to bed early. So we have dinner, we put Gabe to bed, and then now, hopefully Elliot's in bed at some point too, have dinner, watch one episode of something, because then I go to bed. And so tonight's episode is Succession. We're on season two, episode seven. seven. So we're quite, we're kind of behind. We did try and start watching it ages ago, but just never really got into it. But now we're hooked. Um, you can see me in the mirror there. It's not very flattering. Okay, everything's messy, okay? Everything's messy all the time. Just deal with it Mary. <sighs> Hi, it is Tuesday. I had a very busy bank holiday weekend just in the salon. I did hair Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Nothing was very vlog worthy. So I'm just catching up with you now because I am off today. Um, I'm, I've just had a shower, got ready, done my hair, done my skincare. Gabriel's at nursery, Elliot's downstairs with daddy and yeah, I've just got myself ready. I felt like I had things to say to you. <laughs> But now I've come on camera and I don't really have anything. Oh, let me put my rings on. I'm going to put the jewellery on today. Yeah, I'm not working in the salon, so rings are okay. Rings are actually okay doing hair, but sometimes they get caught, so I don't always wear them. And, like, when you work with your hands, you don't always want to wear things on your hands. But today, I feel like I do. I've got some things that I need to do today. I've got to pop to Asda because I've ordered some pasta storage. Well, not just pasta, but, like, pantry storage, basically. Um, so that was click and collect. I need to pick that up. And then I need to do things like put a wash on fold some clothes that I vacuum packed for Elliot and then later on I'm going down to my soon to be new salon to meet the plumber to get a quote I'm gonna to have to also go out and pick up Gabriel this afternoon because Hainsley's out for a couple of hours this afternoon then he's coming back um but when he's out is when Gabriel finishes finishes nursery so I have to pick him up anyway you know when you don't really know a supermarket I was running around for ages trying to find oat milk but I was determined to find it myself and then after like 10 minutes of walking up and down the same aisles not seeing it anywhere I asked and they were like yeah aisle six next to the sugar I was like great so yeah I did also I picked up what I needed to pick up my uh, glass canisters which I'm very excited to show you later then I need to get some oat milk for little Gaby Angel because we order it but it's not going to come until tomorrow and I don't know if we've got enough for when he gets home from nursery today and then also needed like some more yogurts bananas blueberries you know things like that um, this is very exciting uh, so i ordered from etsy 
I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I thought they were quite cute, but I, I'm not sure if they are cute or if they're a bit twee. I quite liked, like, these little labels that you can get from um, Etsy, as I say, to label your pantry things. So you can tailor them to what you have. So this is what I thought I would need them for. So I half want to show you this because who doesn't love a bit of kitchen um, organisation? Also, it's actually really good value because this these kind of containers can be really expensive. But I have got six different size containers that are very nice. This is glass and it's got like a nice wooden cap. And for six of them in varying sizes, which I'll show you, it was £16. And you can buy one for that price. And I, I don't know what, how I came across them, I was just Googling, I think. And yeah, it's Georgia Asda. So they're available online. I'll try and link them down below if I can. But yeah, they're just really, really nice storage canisters and they're very, very cheap. Like, I'm, I almost can't believe how cheap they are because they definitely look exactly like like the Habitat ones that Sainsbury's have. Like John Lewis do some that are quite similar. So yeah, you've got a nice long one for your linguine. So there we go, this is my first one. Here's my linguine. Then we've got penne, linguine, macaroni. I feel like rice could go in here, or maybe oats. Do we think rice in a big one or a small one? Actually, I feel like I'm a bit overwhelmed. I don't really know what to commit to. I'm going to commit to plain flour, I think. I'm going to think about it, actually, of where to put the flour. I feel like I need to Google how people store flour. Do they put them in glass canisters? I don't know. Here's my rice. Or should I put my rice in the slightly, in the, the one that's the same size as the penne? Would that fit a kilo? Anyway, I just don't know. The only label I could commit to, I feel like at this point, is the linguine. So do I want, what do we think of that on there? Looks cute or do we think it's a bit much and doesn't really need it? I just, I'm not sure. I, I feel like I do like these, like I love the font and I do like the idea of a label, but I'm also a bit like, do I need labels? I will do when I when it comes to decanting the flour. A couple of different rices. Anyway, right, this is this is it. What do we think of the label? I'd love to know. Also, how do you store your flour? Is it in things like this? On what sizes do you store things in? That I would really like to know. I've also I've just um, put my oats in here. I think that looks quite nice, doesn't it? That looks lovely. But now I'm a bit like, but all my cereals are up there, so I should just put this in there with them. Anyway. Because this is, yeah, okay, just forget it, Mary, just forget it. So there it is in there for now. I mean, it doesn't look particularly aesthetic, but it's fine, it will do. Spanner in the works, though, because this doesn't actually fit in there, it's too tall. Is it tall enough to... Oh, yeah, it does go in that cupboard. I may eventually, when I actually sort this cupboard out, put all of them in there. Yeah, I'm just going to ruminate on it for a while. Um, it's Wednesday morning. Oh, hi. I just had to pop Sally's. I'm such an idiot because um, I take towels home to wash them and I forgot to bring them with me. Um, and I thought maybe I had a couple of towels here, but no. So I've just run over to Sally's. Thank God it's only over the road. Some disposable towels, so I've got these. I usually have these on hand, but I have run out. So I've got some disposable towels. And then I couldn't resist just picking up a couple of products. This job is a bit of an enabler when you like products because you can make an excuse for anything. But also, I hate this packaging and I, I hate this branding. But this is one of the best root lift and thickening sprays ever. It's the Bedhead Queen for a Day. It's so good and it's really cheap. So I picked that up. Um, and then also I needed a texture spray. Oh, because I've only really got hair sprays. I want to get a couple like of those anyway from different brands. But um, L'Oreal Technique do this one called Savage Panache. It's very, very powdery though. It's quite heavy, so it's not my go-to for a texture spray, um, but it is a good one to have on hand in a salon. Yesterday descended into chaos actually after I last spoke to you. So I didn't speak to you again yesterday, so I'm back here today <laughs> because I actually forgot that I was picking Gabe up from nursery at one, not three. And so my child minder texted me and was like, are you coming at like 10 past one? I was like, are you, are you still getting game at one? And I was like, shit, yes I am. So I had to run and get him. But anyway, so that was, yeah, a bit of a chaotic day towards the end of the day, but we're back on track now. And I'm doing hair this morning and then I'm going to pop into town. I've got a christening to go to in a couple of weeks. And I suddenly thought last night, I said to Andy, like, I think we need to get stuff for the kids to wear. Like we don't have like formal kind of stuff. For Gabe we do, um, but for Elliot, it's like, what do you dress a four month old baby in? That isn't like a waistcoat and bow tie. You know when people do that? 
no so i'm gonna go into zara to get a shirt for gabe that i think we want to get and just have a look at what possibly we could put elliot in so that's that after this um i also then need to do like self-care and admin for myself like i need to book an optician's appointment i need to book a dentist appointment i need to book a smear test whether i get that done this afternoon i'm not sure but that is on the agenda for this week because these are all things that i just haven't done <laughs> since starting to have kids especially the dentist because you get free dental when you're pregnant and for a year after and i haven't used it once and i have two children so i need to make sure before it runs out that i do it so i need to book a checkup today and get that sorted because i know that i need work done that i don't want to pay for i get my hygienist appointments privately because the hygienist is not very pleasant and i feel like when you go private they're a bit more gentle um, but everything else happy for that to be paid for with my maternity benefit so <laughs> I really need to make the most of that while I still have it. Um, pregnancy like fucks your teeth basically, that's why you get it for free. So I haven't had a checkup for ages and I know that I need some work done. And then I can also think about booking Invisalign because I really, really want to start that journey this year as well. And then we're going to start the whole glow up journey. Do you know what I mean? That's my day today. The battery's flashing so I'm going to go and hopefully uh, we'll speak to you in a bit. <laughs> 